Hey what's going on guys it's Mooney here and today I have another squad builder for you guys and today is my first bronze team I've ever built. It's an English bronze team and to be honest it's one of the one of my favourite teams that I've ever played with. In goal we've got Nash, he's gonna cost about 400 coins and for this is the first time the formation 442 has been used in any of my squad builders and that's why a few are out of position because otherwise it would have been like 3k added onto the price and for resale value that's just not good enough for, again because you want to be trying to make a bit of a profit when you're reselling them but Nash, as all bronze goalkeepers are, they're pretty poor. But the good thing about Nash is he's got great distribution, either throwing or kicking. That's what you want because bronze keepers, any shot's going to beat them, to be honest, and because they're not great. But our left back, our first playing defence to try and protect Nash is White. Got two k, two thousand coins. He's going to cost you eighty six pace, very very quick, and he is a good solid defender as well. The best bronze you can get, I think sixty four is. Our first centre back is going to be Pierce. He got 26 shooting, so when he does go off the corners and does have a shot, it's pretty dreadful. But he's going to cost about 5,500 coins, and he is a very, very good player, Pierce. Mainly because of his 80 pace, but otherwise he's got quite good defending stats, 65 and 67 for a bronze. I think that's pretty decent, and he plays better than that anyway. All the centre-back is going to be Forbes. Uh, play, I think plays for Leighton Orient there. Going to cost about 2,000 coins again. Pretty pacey for a defender, but... Awful shooting, but again, got good defending head and stats, and these two work with a pretty good partnership and pretty good combination. And some in some games, as you'll probably see in the uh, tournament tour, some people don't even have a shot on target against me, so they do really work. Odd summer ball is going to cost you about 2,500 coins again, 80 85 pace. He's just a bit slower than white, but a very, very good right back, a very good going forward. Does like to go forward a lot, but again, 36 shooting doesn't help, but otherwise, his stats are okay for again, just a uh, bronze player but our right mid is taylor i think four or five star skill is one of the two i know we can do the chop but i think it might be five he's got 91 pace even though shooting is 50 he's got very very good shooting to be honest he's going to cost you about 4500 coins and he is quite a popular bronze player especially in the right mid position i think he will be perfect as well in a, in a right wing position our first centre mid is going to be Livermore, of course, plays for Tottenham. And he's probably one of the best bronze players I've ever played with. Yeah, I, I have played with bronze players, even though I haven't built a team around them. He's going to cost about 2,500 coins. He does control the middle of the pack, got very, very short stats drills, got a good shot, got a fantastic pass, and links up the play really well. He acts as a CDM and works in great partnership with, I think it's Gobain, something like that. He's, again, he's got 90 pace, he's going to go forward a bit more. Shame about his shooting and... It, it does show in the game that he's only got 47 shooting, but Livermore, when Gabane goes forward, he just cuts in inside and sits in front of the defence really well, and they work as a really good partnership. And that's why Gardner has been put on the bench, even though I think he's got the long shot straight, that's why he's been put on the bench. Now, I've played with Gardner a bit, and he's not fantastic, but our left mid is going to be Barkham, 88 pace, got okay shooting, but he's a left mid with a right foot, so you can cut in, he's got an okay finesse shot, going to cost you 1,500 coins, and go back, and I don't think I mentioned it, but he's going to cost you 6,500 coins. Our two strikers work fantastically well together. West Kyle, who's got 88 pace, 58 shooting, but he's got fantastic finesse, and a great just, you know, just simple tap circle, or hold circle shot. He's going to cost you 3,500 coins, and works in brilliant partnership with Slew, who plays for Blackburn Rovers. Never even heard of him before, but Slew's going to cost about 7,000 coins, 91 pace, got a fantastic left shot, not when you finesse it, but when you sort of, again, just like, I, I call it a power shot. But otherwise, these two, both because of the pace, and the way I like to play with it is pass it between them in front of the back four, tease the back four so they come out a bit, and then one of the two can put a through ball through, and the pace is going to beat most defenders all the time, unless they've got someone like Win at the back, and they work really well at doing that together. Fantastic team, one of the best teams I've played with. That starting 11 is going to cost you 37,900 coins. Now, if you haven't got that type of money at this stage in the team, I don't know what's gone wrong. You may have been hacked or something, but it's a very, very cheap team and a very, very good team as well. Great to go into the bronze tournaments with as well. And on the bench, we have Gardner, of course, long shot trick, but I don't like him in the game. I don't like the way he plays. He's got okay long shots, but I don't like the way he plays in the game. Again, Livermore and Gabane are better than him, and in my opinion, but he's going to cost you 6,500 coins. A right mid, we've got Ainsworth. Again, 90 place plays for Shrewsbury as well. You probably could put him on the left mid if you really wanted to, but then chemistry is affected. But he's going to cost you about 2,000 coins. He's an okay player, not great, but I do prefer Taylor to him. And Ings, you'll see him in the um, squad, uh, the tournament tour as well after this video. But 1,500 coins going to cost you, again, a very pacey striker. And this team is based around pace, but a bronze level, you, you are sacrificing shot, shooting, passing and all that for pace if you're going to go for it. But 
if you, you're you going to be one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper most of the time, so it should be an easy finish for them. Ings is a pretty good player as well. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. The whole squad costs 47,900 coins, so those subs there cost 10,000 coins, mainly because of Gardner, but hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a like if you think you deserved it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.